I'm gonna need a drink for this one. Finish off what's left. It's a sad day. But we'll get into that. Today we're gonna be um, covering Chrysler's downfall. Nah, not. Nah, I'm just kidding. I doubt it's gonna be their downfall. Um, honestly, I think it's probably a smarter move, seeing how the future is going forward in the automotive industry. But um, before we get into that, thank everyone for watching this, and um, yeah title screen. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't done this already, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that little notification bell so you can see all my new videos as soon as they come out. And if you like today's video, why don't you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get into today's content. Like and subscribe! Mads, really? You know it. All right, what do I mean by Chrysler's downfall, but not really Chrysler's downfall? Well, a few days ago, um, Chrysler has officially merged with a 50-50 partnership. Um, I say Chrysler, but FCA. FCA has merged with a 50-50 partnership of this automotive company called Stellantis or Stellantes. I think it said Stellantes, but whatever. However, I, I just want to be fancy, you know, pinky finger up. Oh, sorry for this messy room, Jesus. I just... I treat my office like it's my garage and just throw whatever hell I want in here. <laughs> Alright, so this is Delonte's homepage. Um, actually, it's it's not really. Like, if you just Google Stellantes, you can come over here, click this. You'll come to this little page here. And you're like, eh, okay, then come hit the menu button, go to overview. And you can see here on... Um, the brands, what falls under Stellantis now? Well, you got a Barth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Citroën, uh, Dodge, DS Automobiles, Fiat, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, Mopar, Opel, uh, Peugeot, Ram, and Vauxhall. I've never even heard of them. But you may be noticing out of all of these... Why don't I see the SRT brand name there? We'll get into that. Let's go hit the overview real quick. So, to know about this merger, you need to know about this company. Um, Stellantis is a leading global mobility player guided by a clear mission to provide freedom and movement for all the distinctive, appealing, affordable, and sustainable mobility solutions, blah, 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 blah. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll basically just find out that what they are is trying to move forward in a um, the electric vehicle market. Like I said, I don't know if that's smart or not. Personally, I think it might be kind of smart seeing how, you know, like Chevy and Ford are moving forward in their elect uh, electric vehicle department. Uh, you see it with Ford, uh, with the Mustang, the four-door Mustang SUV. Oh, what the fuck is happening in my world? Anyways, um... And you see it with Chevy with uh, the Volt and the Bolt and them wanting to move into getting electric power SUVs um, and also with their electric motor crate engines that they have, um, which basically means you can take a 396 four-speed 68 Chevelle SS, pull out the 396, throw this electric motor in there, and it will bolt up to the Muncie four-speed, and now you have an electric-powered muscle car. Kind of cool. Like, honestly, I like I, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. I think that'd be pretty dope, um, considering that they're, like, 1,500 horsepower electric engines. I think that's, like, the top one you can get. They also have, like, 600, 800, 900 horsepower ones. Um, but, like, you come down here, you know, they are focusing on electrification, connectivity, and autonomous driving and shared ownership. I don't, I don't know what that is, shared ownership, but... It sounds like some, I don't know, some... Jesus, it is 1.30 in the morning. I'm still on night shift, so you get to see my lovely face here. Um, socialist, that's what I was thinking of. Shared ownership, socialist, I don't know. I'm just messing. Um, uh, Jameson and Sprite, gotta love it. Uh, 
So, it says the driving force behind us is the diverse and talented group of men and women around the world who bring their passion and experience to their work every day. And we are truly a global organization and remain deeply rooted in communities which we operate and our people live and work. Basically, they're an electric vehicle company. That's really all you gotta know. God, I am shaking this desk something fierce. So we're gonna take a look at a couple uh, articles here. Um, the first one is gonna be the Mopar Insiders article that was published um, earlier yesterday. Um, it kind of goes into saying SRT has been disbanded. Um, you know, sorry, I don't know why I was just reading that. I've read this article like three times. Um, so SRT has been disbanded. However, they have been reintegrated back into the company's engineering organization. Well, I guess the company's new or, uh, engineering organization, which cool, cool, um, awesome. And so basically what that means is that SRT's people, which... There's like 100 people working at SRT, I think. That's what another article said. Um, has just been re-implemented back in. So there's still going to be performance divisions. Um, we're still going to have the Hemi for a while. Uh, we're still going to have the Hellcat for a while. Um, but it is really starting to look like, with this merger, this 50-50 split merger, that... Chrysler is going to start going into looking more towards electric or hybrid vehicles. Um, what that means for the Hellcats, basically all the SRT stuff that we love and know right now, like the Scat Packs. And you say, well, Scat Packs, not SRT. You know what the drivetrain is, so I don't want to hear it. Um, it par Its lineage is from SRT, and it's still powered by SRT. So we got the Scat Packs, we got the Hellcats, we got the Super Stocks, we got the Red Eyes. Um, and you know, whatever else they want to come out with, cause they're not just going to like start switching to electric overnight. They could, but those cars are going to be crap. Um, and the rest of the article just kind of goes into the history of SRT and stuff like that. The main article that I want to get into is, um, up here by Motor Authority. And like I said, I'll link all of this stuff down in the description below. Go take a read for yourself, all of that. Um, this is a shorter article, and we're just basically going to go into this. It starts out by saying, The band is broken up. Four members of the SRT engineering team have been integrated into Stellantis' main engineering group. Cool. Uh, the move was made official on February 3rd when a company-wide announcement on the Stellantis' intranet stated that dictated that stated that the dictated SRT engineering group was being integrated into the company's global engineering organization. Uh, the Stellantis' Uh, SRT engineers work solely on SRT performance vehicles. At one point, this group consists of approximately 100 people. Uh, those team members can now be reassigned to work on a minivan and dial in the handling or make it sportier. Uh, they could be moved to develop a, like, it just says a Dodge Charger. But I think what that's hinting at is that they're going to say that a new Dodge Charger is going to be coming out sometime soon. So to develop a base Dodge Charger and later charge with making an SRT version. However, the company spokesman said that these engineers are working on performance variants, but are now reporting to the heads of each individual program. So they basically just took these people and was like, take your knowledge and go put it everywhere else. Kind of smart, um, you know, from what they are doing what they are doing, you know. Um, we're going to take all these these people with all this knowledge and go throw them back into the company to go improve our other items. Because let's face it, Dodge... <sighs> Dodge focuses a lot on their performance vehicles, um, which that's how they've made their name, right? Is performance. But it feels like sometimes they neglect the other vehicles, whether that be the Pacifica, the, the 300, um, you know, the old Dart, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so there will be SRT branded models still going forward. The company's highest performing vehicles will still have SRT parts, but they'll be developed by mainstream teams that have a performance mindset. Um, it's been quoted that it's in the early process, so time will tell how things shake out, obviously. 
But this is where it gets me. There's been a quote, and it says, If and when the Hemi goes away, I don't like the sound of that already, it may just fade away. Still don't like it. But Stellantis will still use that SRT model brand as a marketing point. So even though SRT isn't its own division anymore, they're still going to keep the SRT name and use it on their vehicles going forward. Um, SRT members have already been reassigned and are being moved from product to product. The process began months before the February 3rd announcements. Uh, and then how it closes out is this right here, which is what I think a lot of you may not like um, or may like. I don't know. I don't know what your, uh, your opinion is on like environment and electric vehicles, but the future performance will look different regardless of which team is working on any given product. Dodge CEO Tim Kanuski told uh, CNBC on February that the days of the supercharged V8s are numbered. Can somebody smack him? While Hellcats may not survive the shift in times, performance will. Performance vehicles are here to stay thanks to electrification, which means both hybrids and full EVs. I mean, you gotta think about that for a second. Think about a Hellcat, but it's a hybrid. So, like, the power is controlled to the wheels on off the line. Reduce spin, but you're still pulling, you know, 10, 11, 10 second quarter mile times. I, I personally don't think that this could be a truly bad thing. However, what this is kind of going into is that the days of the real muscle cars are coming to an end. Go out there, buy your scat packs, buy your chargers, buy your challengers, buy Hellcats, buy fucking demons, buy. Super stocks. I don't care. Go out there, buy them. Because in five, ten years, with how this is going, you may not be able to buy a real muscle car anymore. That's just powered by a naturally asp naturally aspirated and slash supercharged V8 engine. There may be electric components to it. Personally, I'm not really going to get in the middle of it. I'm here to th uh, I'm here to listen to what you guys have to say. So why don't you leave a comment down below? Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you want, and um, you know, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if um, you know if if you like this stuff. I'm gonna keep covering this as much as I can. So uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you soon. The charger will be back next Friday. That's what the insurance is telling me. So my baby will be back soon. All right. See you guys.